Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Mighty Morphin, Zordon and Alpha 5 2 pack. Power and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today I am adding to my Power Rangers Lightning Collection with this Mighty Morphin Zordon and Alpha 5 2 pack. And I'm very happy about this because let's be honest, no Mighty Morphin collection is complete without the Command Center Generals. That is, of course, the Galactic Sage Zordon who created the Power Rangers in the first place. And then the Power Rangers mentor, their Command Center guy. It is, of course, Alpha 5, the little robot. We're even getting his little teddy bear, which is a nice little touch as well. But I'm very happy to have this set in hand because it isn't available in the UK. This two pack completely skipped the UK market and isn't available anywhere. Don't know what Hasbro are paying at, but it's a shame that we missed out. But I didn't, thanks to this good community. Manuel on Twitter hit me up, that's ManniFresh369, said he can hook me up, and that's exactly what he did. So this was sent to me all the way from the US of A, and I'm very happy about that, because as I said, no Mighty Morphin Collection is complete without these two, and uh, my Mighty Morphin Collection is forever growing. And I'm really liking the packaging, because it has all five of the original Power Rangers on the front. Zordon is a lot bigger in person than I thought he would be, and Alpha 5 looks very good. I've always wanted an Alpha 5 figure, so I'm very happy to finally be getting one. So the box says you need batteries. Hopefully I can find some of them to turn this on. Uh, and then, yeah, standard window box. On the back, we're getting very simple promo images of what we're getting. The face on this promo image does look different to the face that seems to be on the figure, but we'll take a closer look at that when I open them up. So let's do that now. Aye, 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 here we have Alpha and Zordon out of the packaging. And you know what? Pleasantly surprised. I knew I'd like these, but I like these a lot better in person. Definitely got to try and track these down if you're a Mighty Morphin fan. As I said, your collections won't be complete without them. It's so good to have an Alpha that's in scale with the Lightning Collection Rangers. And to be honest, I think this guy has more articulation on this little figure than that actor did in the costume in the TV show, as that guy could barely move. And there is so much articulation on this tiny figure I'm very impressed. Little accessories, a nice touch. So I'll look at them in a minute. But even uh, Zordon here. Um, yes, probably a little on the small side if you really wanted to think about scale. When you think of Zordon in that command center, you do think big, shiny, floaty head in that tube. And this is sort of scaled down version. So think of this as sort of a, a portable Zordon, if you will. And uh, the head sculpt's not too bad now. I've got it out of the box and had a look, but it is just like a scoop of a head and it is completely plain on the back there. There is a button to turn it on. I've already put three AAA batteries on there. So I will turn the lights off and see how much we can get this to shine in a minute. But I just want to firstly highlight Alpha. Taking a closer look at Alpha, you can see he looks really nice. Very accurate to the TV show, in my opinion. As I said, your mind's eye version is what you think of. And if I see this, this is undoubtedly Alpha 5 from the original Mighty Morphin. Now, the tones and the colours may be a slightly different to what you remember. Like, for example, these sort of blues here, I would sort of think they were more dark dark blue or even black in the TV show. But I do think blue is accurate, especially for like the sort of character design and how it was portrayed and all the promotional material. I think Alpha was this color, but the costume under certain lighting definitely looked a lot darker. So maybe my mind's eye version of Alpha, this is black, but I'm completely fine with the sort of blue here on the arms and even down onto the legs. But the golds and the reds are very nice. And of course that Power Rangers lightning bolt across the chest is what I remember and this flat sort of flying saucer style head. So there is plenty of sculpted detail here on Alpha, as you can see, as I slowly spin him around. And as I said, undoubtedly Alpha 5 from the TV show. So actually lots of articulation, as I've already said. So the arms will go up to 90 and there is only a single joint in the elbow. But as I said, for a robot, let's be honest, that's all you need. That is all you need because the shoulder pads sort of block it a little bit. But again, not hating that at all. And you can get him in his pose. Look, if you can get Alpha 5 like this, bent to the side because he has got a waist sort of on a ball joint as well as the crunch on the abs. So all you need is Alpha 5 like this going I I I and bouncing around. You have your accurate Alpha 5. And I do apologize for my Alpha 5 impression, but uh, you get the gist. Uh, legs. 
go out decent enough. Again, probably more than the character himself. And double jointed knees. And they will go up pretty far. Not too bad at all. Big clunky robot feet. Uh, they do have decent swivel on there. They have got their own little pivot. Um, so you can get him standing up. Um, not a problem in some weird poses. But yeah, just while we're zoomed in, as I said, all of this is sculpted detail. Paintwork is nice. No sloppiness. I do think they've done a great job with this alpha. There's some sculpted detail on the back here that's not painted. But again, I can't think of what it was the colour of this on the TV show. This is probably completely accurate. But the back of the figure, definitely remember all of this. Definitely that lightning bolt. I definitely remember it sort of lighting up as well. That would have been a cool feature. And then maybe like a the light that went across side to side in the helmet. That's what I sort of remember. Maybe that was from the movie. Uh, maybe that was Alpha 6, his, his brother, uh, that came in the later seasons. But Alpha 5 is the OG. As I said, a sort of mentor, if you will, to the Rangers in the command centre. Uh, had his sort short stint of being evil uh, but let's be honest he's uh, really the good guy and he does come with his little accessory now this is a tiny little easter egg and um, nothing more to be fair it's not like a, a mainstay of the tv show it was in maybe one or two scenes when alpha was woken up really early he came out of his chambers and he was holding this little teddy bear uh, which this is like just not a normal teddy bear with a sort of gimmick alpha 5 head uh, which i believe they were like ping pong balls on a on a tubberware box i think i read that somewhere the prop designer said that but either way it's a nice little easter egg a nice touch and alpha can hold this as i said just need to get his thumb uh, around uh, the leg there and he can hold that not a problem at all and if i zoom out you can have alpha holding his teddy as he would and uh yeah very sweet nice alpha five for your command centers now we just need a command center playset hasbro taking a quick look at zord on his own i just want to firstly go over the articulation um um Okay, there's no articulation, but he does have a nice button. And when you press it, an LED comes on, which is meant to sort of show the face a little bit more. It's meant to sort of shine up on the sort of embossed face, if you will, uh, which is in there. But this is just a clear tube, sort of a very flat sort of grey, but I'm fine with it, I guess. I guess you could paint that up if you wanted to, but I'm completely fine with it. As I said, completely flat on the black, just some sort of uh, safety stuff there. It's all about this front display. So if I press that light on, with my lights on, you probably cannot tell. So you press it again and it turns off. So turn it on, press it, turn it off, you press it again. So let's turn all my lights off and see how much I can get this to glow. Okay, so I can't get my room pitch black because I'm recording this in the daytime, but uh, it's dark enough to see how bright this is. And it doesn't look very bright. I, I have to say it does look brighter in person than it's coming across in camera. And again, if I maybe zoom in a little bit, you can see the bright light there. Uh, definitely bright in person. It's meant to sort of demonstrate Zordon. So I get what they were going for here, but maybe that light isn't bright enough, but it's still an okay gimmick. They tried. So here we have Alpha and Zordon side by side, and they were never seen like this in the show, but just for comparison's sake, let's bring in a Ranger. So I think Alpha scales very nicely with a Power Ranger, I must admit. And um, he comes up to just about their sort of chest area, which is completely fine with me. And as I said, I'm still really impressed with the articulation on here. The head swivels, it will turn as well. So you can definitely get Alpha in all these like little robot poses that he gets in from the show. And as I said, he's decent enough. He can literally get into balance on one leg. You just gotta be careful with it because he's got nice big clunky shoes. But uh, as I said, articulation for a little robot is so so good um and he's going to fit very nicely with your rangers as i said maybe get some extra rangers if you will build a little command center diorama you can have alpha there at the commands at the control center and then you can have zordon at the back there and uh, yeah this mighty morphin lineup is looking very good and again didn't expect to get alpha 5 and zordon but I'm very happy we did. And one more quick comparison. Here we have Alpha 5 with both a female and a male Ranger with their civilian heads. It is, of course, the Red Ranger, the OG Red Ranger, Jason, and the OG Pink Ranger, Kimberly. And as I said, get an extra set of these Power Rangers, especially now we've nearly completed the team. We just need the Black Ranger, Zack. Hopefully, I'll have mine from Wave 6 here next week. And then I will have completed my original Mighty Morphin team. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to have to build myself a little command center with these guys. But as you can see, Alpha scales great with both of these. I can even get Zordon in the mix. And yeah, these guys, very good. Very happy with this set.
So final thoughts, I'm very happy with this two pack because it is technically a two pack, they're two characters, but the main attraction for me is Alpha. I would have brought Alpha single packed. Zordon is just a nice uh, bonus. Um, but yes, if you are an OG Mighty Morphin fan, I do think this is essential to your collection. Um, so fingers crossed the UK gets this somehow, some way. There is a listing on Amazon, it's just not one up for order anywhere at all. But hopefully one of the UK stores get it as I do think people are gonna be very happy with this once they get it in hand as i said the main attraction is alpha but even though zordon's just a chunk of plastic with a little light on there i do think it's a nice piece for the display because anyone admiring a power rangers display is obviously gonna know who zordon is that big floaty head in a tube uh, undoubtedly but you let me know what you think in the comments below is this a set that you are happy to get would you have brought alpha as a single pack are you happy we even got zordon do you like the gimmicks let me know always curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below uh, but as always people you know what to do stick around on the channel as i said i should be completing the OG lineup next week when I get my Black Ranger and um, so stick around as I will be reviewing a few of them uh, but most importantly you know what to do please 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 hit that subscribe button and uh, you know what to do if you want to support the channel that little bit more you can on Patreon links in the description below but until then people my name is Dan W and I will of course see you on the next one